Well, good afternoon, everyone. It's Pastor Bramick, and it's time for our daily devotions. We are starting a new book today. We are in the book of Philippians, and we're starting in the first chapter, chapter 1, verse 1. So if you'd like to turn there now and join me, we'll get started. Paul and Timothy, servants of Christ Jesus, to all the saints in Christ Jesus who are in Philippi, with the overseers and deacons, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God in all of my remembrance of you, always in every prayer of mine, for you are all making my prayer with joy because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. And I am sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. It is right for me to feel this way about you all because I hold you in my heart, for you are all partakers with me of grace, both in my imprisonment and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel. For God is my witness, how I yearn for you all with the affection of Christ Jesus. And it is my prayer that your love may abound more and more with knowledge and all discernment, so that you may approve what is excellent and so be pure and blameless for the day of Christ, filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ to the glory and praise of God. I want you to know, brothers, that what has happened to me has really served to advance the gospel, so that it has become known throughout all the whole imperial guard and to all the rest that my imprisonment is for Christ. And most of the brothers, having become confident in the Lord by my imprisonment, are much more bold to speak the word without fear. Some indeed preach Christ from envy and rivalry, but others from goodwill. The latter do it out of love, knowing that I am put here for the defense of the gospel. The former proclaim Christ out of selfish ambition, not sincerely, but thinking to afflict me with my imprisonment. What then? Only that in every way, whether in pretense or in the truth, Christ is proclaimed, and in that I rejoice. Yes, and I will rejoice, for I know that through your prayers and the help of the Spirit of Jesus Christ, this will turn out for my deliverance. As is my eager expectation and hope that I will not be at all ashamed, but that with full courage, now, as always, Christ will be honored in my body, whether by life or by death. Okay, so we are continuing with uh, what we're calling or what are called the imprisonment letters. And, and these are three letters that Paul wrote to churches while he was in prison. Now, we finished up Ephesians yesterday. That was one of the imprisonment or sometimes it's called the captivity letters. And uh, Philippians is another one of the captivity letters, letters and then Colossians. So he's writing Philippians. If you ever get curious, you want to turn back to Acts 28. And that's where he's going to be talking about how he is in prison in Rome for two years awaiting trial because that's where he was, uh, that's where he is sent. You know, he goes on the big long um, ship voyage. We, we read about this a couple of uh, months or, or weeks back. Um, he goes through this great ordeal to get to Rome and then he's going to wait there because he has appealed his case to Caesar. Um, after being accused by the Jews in Jerusalem for um, upsetting things at the temple and blasphemy and all these other things that really were serious offenses to the Jews. And, of course, you know, these were all allegations. But, um, you know, Acts 28 ends with Paul arriving in Rome, and he's placed in un under house arrest there. He can still see people. Um, he's got some freedom, but uh, he's awaiting trial. And... And while he is there in Rome for this two-year period, he's writing his captivity letters, and he writes to the Philippians. So uh, Philippi was one of the cities that had donated, and seems like they donated generously, to the offerings that were going to be given to the saints in Jerusalem. Because the Jerusalem church was suffering financially, and they needed some uh, some funds for them to continue to do ministry. So when Paul would plant churches throughout Asia, he would take up collections and uh, then he would bring the collections back to the Jews. And this was supposed to be a nice way for the Jews and Gentiles to establish their common fellowship in Christ and show that they were transcending these ethnic uh, boundaries between one another. So, Paul, uh, I get the sense that the Philippians were quite supportive because Paul has very... Uh, he has very flowery words to shower upon them, and, and he praises them a lot. 
And uh, it seems Timothy is with Paul because that's how the letter begins. Paul and Timothy, servants of Christ Jesus, to all the saints in Christ who are in Philippi. And he mentions his imprisonment several times, but, but he comes down to saying that this was all for the sake of the gospel, to advance the gospel, that that's the point of the evangelist, the missionary, the pastor, um, the deaconess, to share the good news of Jesus and to uh, see the kingdom of God grow, uh, that more people may come to the knowledge of Jesus through, uh, you know, the word and um, also through, uh, you know, the pastoral ministry and the sacrament. So we rejoice with Paul as he is a captive for Christ and as he is continuing to um, pass on instruction to other congregations that they may too uh, be servants and witnesses to the one true God. All right, let's continue now as we pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Everyone, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Amen. Okay, so announcements for today. It's really just going to be a, a repeat of yesterday. So we have a lot of events that are happening this weekend. Uh, it's Thursday, so uh, Mahjong, I'm sorry, Mahjong is happening, has happened already this morning. Now we're moving into grief share that's going to be happening later tonight. And then Saturday, we do have men's breakfast scheduled for 8 a.m., elders at 9.30, Sprouts is happening at 1, and then Sunday is the really big day. So we have new teacher installation and Sunday school teacher installation happening in our early morning service at 10.30, and then uh, we have um, council meeting to follow that. Uh, we have confirmation starting this Sunday night. Believe it or not, it's back after a over four month hiatus, so hard to believe how fast the time goes. But uh, we, we hope that you can come back if you have been away, um, kick off the new Sunday school year because it is rally day as well. And so please join us at 1030 a.m. this Sunday as we begin a new school year here at Holy Shepherd and we rejoice in the blessings of God in Christ. Have a blessed rest of the day.